which Kuhn refers to as pre-science, in which the earliest adventurous explorations lead to the development of the basic conceptual building blocks, the most basic metaphors, which will give shape to the emerging scientific paradigm. The early explorations of pre-science then give rise to what Kuhn dubbed normal science, within which the basic explanatory and conceptual structures of the developing paradigm begin to concretize as a morphologically mature program of research, with well-defined epistemological horizons which are delineated by the core metaphors which have now become the beating heart of the paradigm. It is within this phase of normal science that falsification tends to become essentially irrelevant. The core metaphors, and thus the core theoretical frameworks which are erected around those core metaphors, have come to be fully entrenched, and as such, conflicting evidence tends to be simply ignored, hand-waved away, or accommodated by minor ad hoc adjustments to the original theoretical frameworks. Simply put, real scientific theories simply are not falsifiable in the manner that Popper had suggested, because there are always going to be convenient ways to preserve a theory even in light of conflicting evidence, whether that be through adjustments made to a theory directly, adjustments made to other related theories which allow for reinterpretation of evidence, or simply through regarding contradictory evidence as anomalous noise. Kuhn's overall point was not that these facts constitute scientific malpractice, but rather that this is simply how real science actually works, for better or for worse. The quasi-Darwinian algorithm of selection through falsification, which Popper believed to be the core of scientific epistemology, is simply not how real science develops and progresses. Rather than simply falling to pieces due to contradictory evidence, scientific paradigms instead tend to die very slow and arduous deaths. As more and more contradictory evidence comes to mount, the adjustments needed to accommodate such observations come to warp and deform the core metaphors which serve as the heart of the paradigm. The paradigm thus comes to enter what Kuhn refers to as a crisis phase, in which the core metaphors